people i am chef debbie and i welcome you to another episode of the debbie's kitchen delight show on this show every week we share beautiful recipes for meals from across the globe and tonight is not going to be different i'm going to show you how to make crispy oven grilled chicken that is ready to be served within an hour and you can even in fact use it as your meat with dinner it's quick it's fast it's easy and it's delicious like to know please continue to watch this video then click on the like button share and subscribe to this youtube channel so and also turn on your notification so that you get notified when i upload new videos weekly so let me go straight to the point and show you the recipe for oven grilled chicken that does not require any marinade yes you had that right you don't have to marinate it. What you just need to do are some simple ingredients which I'm going to show you now. And before you know it, dinner is ready. So let's dive into it. For what you need, you need diced onion or chopped onion, chopped spring onions, some salt, seasoning cube, and some pe pepper mix that you can just get bring out from your fridge. You already probably have this in your fridge. You just bring it out, throw it out, and it's ready. This contains red bell pepper, red chili, onion, garlic, and some tomatoes and habanero pepper. As usual, I have some vegetable here. It's vegetable oil. You can use olive oil, extra virgin, if that's what works for you. And we'll have um, some chicken legs here, chicken thighs bone in skin home so what i'll be doing quickly is to make some incisions on the chicken so that our seasoning will uh, go in faster since uh, this is a dinner that is going to take less time because it does not require marinating in advance so let me quickly make some quick incisions on this chicken legs and we'll be ready to continue with the show. The incisions have been done on the chicken and well, what we need to do now is to start our light up our stove, put in our pan, eat it up nicely, so now our pan is nicely heated up. We proceed with some oil. I'll add the chopped onion. So I'll add my seasoning. I will do it. I'm using the heat and going in with my seasoning cube. So 
so the onion is translucent now so i'm proceeding with my pepper meat what we need to do is to reduce this, this down until it's a thick syrup and then we use that to coat our chicken and before we put it in the hair fryer so that should be done within 8 to 10 minutes so i'll see you after 10 minutes when this has reduced down nicely while this pepper was reducing i've taken the liberty of adding some spices some curry some thyme and um, ginger powder i just like the added kick that that's going to add to this uh, sauce so i still need to reduce further so while that is going on i quickly need to dice up my potato so that i can be cooking that side by side so just uh, just like that just like that not too small so while I'm cooking that let me move this out of the way okay and uh, okay so I can go on with my, uh, dicing up of my potatoes yes because I need it to be on the fire at the same time with the like I said, this dinner will be ready within the hour. Okay, isn't, isn't, yeah, just like that. So I'll put on the I'll, I'll put my potato on the fire, on, in the pot, already on the fire with some water, already in the pot. So I will, I need to salt it. So I'll salt the water, just a little salt, and cover it and bring it to a boil. I need, I need the potato to cook to just tender, not soggy, because um, we don't want soggy potato. So once it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like my pepper reduction is almost done. So I'll turn down the heat and give it a taste. And once, once I am satisfied with uh, the consistency, I can take it off the stove and proceed with the next step. This is actually good, fine. So I'm going to turn off the light now. And um, show you what I need you to do. So what I need to do now is to put my chicken in this plate. And bring the pan here. So what I'll be doing now is to toss this chicken in this hot sauce. Yes, I'll make sure that the sauce goes into all the nooks and craning of the chicken thigh. Yes, turn it around. It's, the sauce is quite hot, so but it's going in into my or pre-warmed or pre-heated air fryer where I'm going to grill it in there for 40 minutes and halfway at the 20 minutes mark I will turn it on to the other side and finish it off so it's dinner that is 
takes uh, within one hour everything is set and you don't have to stress yourself thinking of what to cook or spending hours in the kitchen on a weekday when you're home bone tired after a long hard day at work this is for especially busy moms working couples yes i think our our chicken is well coated and i'm liking what i am seeing here so so from here now we proceed to the air fryer so I will, it's time now to transfer our chicken pieces which have been well coated in the sauce move them inside the air fryer and cook them for, for 40 minutes 20 minutes on each side make sure you put it in with the sauce I'm going to put in the extra sauce in it because we need it in the marinade to also cook the chicken in the fryer as it goes in just like that. So we move in with the extra sauces. fryer now and the hair fryer has some preset options so for drumstick it cooks at 200 degrees centigrade I'm going for 40 minutes at the 20 minutes mark I'm going to flip it over and cook it for okay it seems 30 is the maximum now so I think I'll just cook it for 20 then turn it over and cook it for another 20 so let's start so i'll see you i'll clean up here and see you in 20 minutes so it's been 20 minutes and wow look at that the sauce the marinade is doing its job it's slightly burnt but that's going to impact a smoky flavor flavor into our meat so when almost as if you are using a charcoal grill outside so now I've turned it over I'll put in put it in for another 20 minutes and I'll see you at the end of 20 minutes so our potato is ready to I'm going to drain it now. Now, put the pan back on the fire and return the potato back into the pot to drain out, to dry out the remaining water. Once that is done, I'm going to add some butter, like two to three tablespoons of butter and some milk. I have some milk here so and season and that will be our mashed potato will be ready just in time with our chicken too. So I have some milk here, like two to three tablespoons and I also have uh, some butter here. You see, it's 200 gram of butter. That's like two sticks of butter. I'm going to put in some two to. So the, my potato is dry now. So I turn off the heat. Put like two 
tablespoon of butter there. I'll add my milk. I'll add it in bits because I don't want the um, potato to. So I'll mash it. I'm going to mash it together. It's not necessary for it to be completely mashed out just until you can see I have some lumps of, um, of potato in there. I think I can use the rest of my milk. I'm going to taste it now. Hmm. The butter's taste is heavenly. It's beautiful. I still have some 60 minutes left on the chicken. So. I'll cook, clean up here and I'll be uh, waiting here after 60 minutes. Wow. Are we there yet? Oh. Almost, 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 almost. Good. So, we're ready. Ta -da. Wow. So now I get to plate my chicken and mashed potato. Wow. This would look and taste like charcoal grilled, grilled chicken. And you know that you get, because of the um, sauce used to uh, marinate it, you get that um, smoky flavor, um, that smoky burnt feeling that you get when you use your charcoal to grill your meat or chicken. This is awesome. Now we need to we need to make a bed of mashed potato for guys you have it here I've taken the liberty of serving my with a, a light tomato soup and it's is evenly so it's um act, uh, actually charred that's because I spent uh, I used 40 minutes, 20 on each side when grilling it. You can reduce your own cooking time to so maybe 30 minutes, 15 a piece, and it will still be good. So, let me know in the comment section if you will be trying this recipe, or if you have comments, suggestions, or even an entirely different perspective. I'll be waiting. Don't forget to like, follow, and share this recipe and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the bell notification so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Till next time, when I come your way again with another beautiful recipe. Bye.
Shout out to all my 